Hello guys, this is Joe Neville and in this video I'm going to be talking about the what, why and how of NetMiko and I'm going to be showing you how to use NetMiko with Aruba OS Switch and Conware devices. Okay, what is NetMiko? Now, Paramiko is a Python module which allows the use of SSH functionality for connections and file transfers within Python. And NetMiko is a project to simplify Paramiko SSH connections specifically for network devices across multiple vendors, across multiple network OSs, so that we can use Python to talk to our network devices. You can find the NetMiko repo up on GitHub. It currently has 30 contributors and it was started by a chap called Kirk Byers. Now on to the why of NetMiko. Well, NetMiko allows us to use code, specifically Python, to communicate with our network. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, essentially DevOps. Now, I'm not going to pontificate about the meaning or the implications of DevOps. There's plenty of information about that online. I'm a simple person and I like things explained in simple ways. And the way I think of this is that in the past, we used to log into devices and grab information about our tin using show commands and a bit of SNMP. Now that's deemed to be very old school and everything's got an API. There's even a toothbrush which communicates via Bluetooth to an application and that application has a web API so that you can access data about things like brushing time so you can check up on your kids and make sure that they're brushing their teeth for long enough because that's not weird or anything. But as we're often told, networking lags behind other areas IT and the reality is that network operating systems with REST APIs are relatively new and most of the tin that's installed out there doesn't have this functionality. And to quote Kirk himself, NetMiko simplifies legacy network automation. NetMiko goes some way to bridging the gap by providing a framework so that we can use Python to log into devices via SSH or Telnet to gather information or send commands to configure our network devices. And the great thing is that once we have the data, we can write code to perform certain tasks based on the results. So now we're interacting with our legacy network devices in a programmatic way. And an additional benefit is that it's a great way for network engineers to practice Python. So if you have been listening to these things going on in the industry about DevOps and the fact that we're being told that network engineers really need to learn some new skills such as coding with Python or Go, etc. And you've picked up a Python book, there's only so many shopping list exercises or text-based RPGs that any one person can handle. And personally, I found that playing around with NetMiko was a great way of applying the Python Python skills that I had learned and I think that true learning comes from the intersection between what you're book learning and what you do in your day-to-day -day job. So NetMiko, what's not to like? Now the devices that I'm going to be using are a couple in my home lab. I've got top right here an Aruba 3810M. Running 16.0.2.13. And down here, bottom right, I've got an MSR 1002-4. Running Conware 7. Now, now, I should mention that there is a REST API on the Aruba device, but I'm just using it here for a demonstration. And I'll be looking at the API further in later videos. So I've got consoles onto both of the devices, but that's not how I'm going to access them. I'm going to be using NetMiko running on a Linux server. So this is a Linux VM that I've got running on my Windows host. It's Ubuntu 16.04.1. First of all, we need to install NetMiko. Now, a word about this, you can install NetMiko from the Python package index, pip, but when I just installed pip and then installed NetMiko, I found that I was getting a lot of error messages. So I found that there were additional packages that I needed to install first. I've got the list here. So I'll go ahead and run the app install first. That takes a minute or two, so I'll skip ahead. Pip and the other packages are now installed, so we'll go ahead and install NetMiko.
I'd already previously installed NetMiko on this server and I'd removed it for this demonstration, thus your install may look a bit different. To check that it's installed correctly, go into Python, import NetMiko, that's fine. and there you can see NetMiko ready to use. What I'll do then is run you through a very simple NetMiko script so you can see the basics working. First of all we're importing the connect handler from NetMiko then we build our devices using a dictionary so these are known key and values that NetMiko uses the name of the dictionary is the name of the device. So we've got Aruba 3810 underscore one here. The device type in NetMiko is still the old HP Pro Curve, but that works just fine. The IP is the IP address that we're going to log into. Then we've got the username and the password that we'll use for SSH. Then we create a variable, this NetConnect, which is made by feeding the dictionary into the connect handler. Then we run the send command on the net underscore connect variable. And we're going to feed in the show version. And the result from that will be fed into this variable output. Then we're going to print the output. Pretty simple stuff. You can change that show command to any valid show command on the device and grab the output. Let's move over to Linux server where I will show you this script running. And we run the command. There we have the printed output, which is a show version off of our Aruba 3810. Now let's take that a step further. Here's my simple network. We've got both of my network devices and my Linux server on the same network, this 10150 network. So imagine that's a management network. I'm going to run a Python script on my Linux server to log into each one of these devices. So the Conway 7 device and the Aruba OS device display their ARP tables and check if there's a specific IP address in their ARP table. If there isn't, we're going to list the devices that do not have this specific IP address. It's a simple use case which I reworked from some of the basic NetMiko examples. Here's my script, so I've got my imports from NetMiko. Also, we're going to display the time for future reference. Here's the device details. Notice here the device type is HP underscore Conware. We've got the IP address, username and password. Then we've got our Aruba device as before. I create a list called TIN. Grab the start time when I run the script and print that out. I create an empty list called the fail list. Then we've got a loop so that these actions will run against the devices in the tin list. As before, we're logging into the device. We do a display ARP. I also create a variable called name so that we get the name of the device from the prompt and the IP address. Print that out. Print the output of the display ARP. And here's a simple if statement so we're checking the ARP table if we've got the 254 address so imagine that's the gateway we'll print out gateway okay else we'll put that the gateway is unknown and we will add that device to the fail list down here we grab the time again and that will be the end time we print that out and finally once the for loop has ended We'll have a list of devices which have failed or we'll print that all devices know about 254 and are OK. I'll go ahead and run this script against my devices. There we are, so we print out the time. That's the Aruba device. And there's the Conware device. So the Aruba device doesn't know about 254. So we've got gateway unknown against it. To ensure that the Conware device does, I put it in as a static ARP. So this comes in as gateway OK. Then we have this final printout here of the devices that have failed. 
as I say, pretty simple stuff, but once we have the data, we can crunch it in a number of ways to create various outcomes. An additional benefit is the scalability, so that list could be your whole network. NetMiko has been tested against a whole range of network OSs that are listed in the repo README, and to flip between OS, you just change that device type. Okay, that's it for NetMiko, what, why, and how. I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something. I very much enjoyed playing around with it and applying some of my Python skills. I'll put those example scripts up on GitHub. The link will be in the description. And as I think of other use cases, I'll be putting them up in the repo as well. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.